Hey, what's up, internet people? Uh, this is Joseph with the Flying Pigeon Bike Shop, and I've got the camera pointed at something I was really excited about when they arrived from the Czech Republic. These are 36-hole coaster brake Velo Steel hubs, and I know that might not sound like a big deal to most people out there, but these are probably some of the best coaster brake hubs on the planet at the moment um, that aren't that weren't made, you know, 60 years ago. This is a Czech company, Velo Steel, that um, bought the designs and tools from uh, Saxon Fitz who make the, some of the fine coaster brakes that you'll find on um, old Dutch bikes like this. And uh, the deal with these coaster brakes is they've just got an awesome braking and clutch mechanism and they'll last for many years. I got these uh, old hubs, I got these new hubs, sorry, so we could build them into flying pigeons and uh, tons of folks have come to us. We've built a few of them up into um, some 700C wheels. There's a 700C wheel with a coaster hub from Velosteel right there. And uh, I think we're selling those for... 50 or 60 bucks. I got to double check. 45 50 dollars, depending on what we're doing. I'm trying to remember, we got a few different styles. So somewhere around there, 45 to 60 bucks, I believe, for a Velo Steel 36 hole coaster hub. Um, here are some bikes that we've got in stock right now. Those are our beach cruisers that we take and rent out. And in the shop, I wanted to really, I was really excited about this. Um, some Bromptons have arrived in the store. That blue bike on the left is an M6 with a Dynamo front hub powering the headlight and taillights. Got fenders and a rear rack. Um, in the middle is that bright pink M3. That's got fenders and um, battery powered lights. And then you can see right behind it is a, a little matching bag from Ortlieb. Not an inexpensive bag. I think the bag's like 360, 380, something like that. But an awesome, awesome bike and an excellent bag. It fits all the bikes that we order come with this luggage carrier block. And that's what all this luggage back here is for. And those are uh, really handy, very well-made bags, blind-stitched, waterproof, et cetera, et cetera. In the back, there's a Raw Lacquer S2. And we, um, the bike didn't come with a Brompton saddle, so we decided to throw a purple Colt on it. You can choose another saddle if you don't want a purple Colt on your two-speed S2. That bike's got the fast-rolling Kojak tires and no fenders. And then uh, next to that is a Sage Green M3. And this bike um, uh, comes with a Dynamo light set. And uh, which is, adds a little bit of weight, but we thought would make it an excellent choice as a commuter bike. Um, and then over here we've got uh, Gazelle Shark, uh, Batavis Butterfly. Those are from our warehouse. They were chilling out. These are a couple of kids' bikes from Holland. Uh, two more Pashleys on the floor. And these are our $60 kitty bikes. We've got a bunch of these in different sizes. We just, um, I don't know, people need kid kitty bikes and we sell them for 60 bucks. That's uh, with taxes included in that price. So it's like 50 or something, 56 something, I can't remember. Um, some more bikes on the end here is a uh, Montego 3 speed, and we've got a, a Flying Pigeon, our last two Amsterdam bikes, a Pelin, Miss Grace from Gazelle, and um, a Puma bike from Biomega. Down on the end there is a Gazelle Bloom. <laughs> Sorry, it's a long night. Been a long day. There's our Deluxe Pedersen, um, some of the other stuff in the shop. Um, again, we've got a ton, I thought this would be worth mentioning as well, a ton of tires from Schwab. Here's a stack of them. We just ran out of space on our tire hooks. 700C, 26 by 1 and 3 eighths. Um, we've got Big Apples. We've got uh, Marathon, Marathon Plus, Delta Cruisers. If anybody who is familiar with ordering from Schwab, these are some of their durable, tougher, heavy-duty tires that they sell for city bikes and uh, commuter bikes. And then over here, we've got a very crowded repair bay. Uh, we just ordered some uh, rod brake blocks. If you're going to restore an old uh, rod brake bicycle from England, we, uh, we've got inserts that we've ordered from Cool Stop International. I think we just ordered everything they had available in the country right now in that style. And they're inserts for old English, uh, old British rod brakes. And we still have rod, rod brake shoes for flying pigeons, but um, getting these inserts is pretty nice. We can uh, push out the old pads on those old Raleigh rod brakes and then shove in the uh, new brake pads and salmon or a new compound that breaks a lot better on them on the chrome rims of some of these old rod brake bikes and uh yeah more repairs etc cetera, etc cetera. here's some of our cool handlebar grips all right guys we're going to be open all weekend long um we did all of our cool events last weekend i've got a couple of articles that'll go online this week so i hope you stay tuned at flyingpigeonla.com thanks again take care